What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Hopefully you've already seen my giant yellowfin video with Captain what? Bob Hovey. What's the name of your charter business? Louisiana Blue Water. Y'all, we spanked two giants. Bailey caught a 197. Her first tuna ever. She did it on her own. So proud of her. I caught a 123, my personal best. But we're going to show you right now what's in this giant tuna's belly. It's a dolphin. See what else is in there. There's a bunch of stuff in there, that's for sure. Piece of banana oh, piece skin. Of, piece of chum, bunch of pieces of chum. Look at that. What the? Now, now tell me they're picky. Big old piece of king mackerel right there. Fresh king mackerel too, we could probably eat that. That's some red meat from a bonita. So you got king mackerel, bonita. This is a bonita dorsal fin here. This is just a skin off of Bonita. You think these things are picky at all, or they're just swimming around eating whatever's in front of them? He had a mahi in there. These look like little ballyhoo or something. He was full. Oh. I'm going to do my best to utilize this entire fish, I promise. So this is the, this is the row that came out. One of Captain Bob's friends salt cures him and eats him. Their heart is in a different cavity than their stomach. And if you look, this is right where their gills are. So you see where their gills come together right here? There's a little pocket right here. This is where their heart is. It's separated by this membrane right here. If you know what you're feeling for, you know exactly what shape it is. Put it up there. And that's it right there. Tuna heart right there. It's organic. <laughs> and that's your fun fact of the week. <laughs> so that's the other piece of rope. <laughs> now I know a ton of y'all follow me from the South Pacific and Asia and all over the world. Tell me what's your most unique thing that you do with tuna or any fish that's not normal that not many people would do. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it. That's it. You want to bake that? What do you think I should do with it? I think bake it. <laughs> I think it looks good baked. Now y'all, the boat that we fished on today belongs to Mr. Mike here. Captain Bob has a different boat that he normally charters on, but something happened to it, so we had to use Mr. Mike's big shout out. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate no it. Y'all, he saved us today. I've just came to a conclusion. I don't have enough coolers to take that whole backbone with me. So y'all are stuck watching me cook two heads. But I promise I'm gonna make the best dish I can with those two giant tuna heads. All right, y'all, time to see what's in the 200 pounders belly. That's just his lungs right there. There we go. There's the goods. All right, so we got a red meat chunk so far, a couple of little bonita chunks. That's a menhaden, menhaden. We call them pogies down here. Full of chum. Pogey heads, red meat, white meat. He was hungry. <laughs> so if y'all wonder where all the chunks come from when we were fishing, that's how we caught them. We pulled up, we had 
like, I don't know, 150 foot of fluorocarbon to just a hook, we would stick the hook in the chunk, throw a handful of chunks in plus the one with the hook in and just free spool, free spool, free spool, free spool, free spool, free spool in hopes that the tuna would find the chunk, swim up, eat all of them, and accidentally eat the one with the hook. And that's what happened to these two. But in all reality, do you like a Danko knife? Oh, watch this. Like, like butter. hot butter. Proof's in the pudding, baby. So this video is something that I don't do very often. I only ever did it one other time, and that was with the giant black grouper. I'm going to show you all what's in their belly. I'm going to take the heads home, cut them in half, and put them in my smoker. I'm going to cook the ribs, and we're going to do some sushi dishes that I've never done before. Look at that, though. Ah! You guys leave a comment below if you love tuna and if you've ever had fresh yellowfin tuna. One day old, not even. Six hour old yellowfin tuna. Now you know a lot of people in the South Pacific eat the bloodline, like that's what they would prefer to eat. Oh, absolutely. What got you into charter fishing down here? Tell us a little bit about your business, your houseboats. The boats you fish on, whatnot. I think we started down here about three years ago. I've been down here for about six years now. Uh, we have a 37 Freeman. We got a 33 Freeman. We have three houseboats. We do corporate stuff. It's a one-stop shop. You guys want all inclusive? You want the food? You want the alcohol? You want the big tuna? Give us a call, Captain Bob Hovey, Louisiana Blue Water Charters. Mm. Here we go. I'm telling y'all, he's good. And I'm gonna show you the houseboat. But would you recommend them? Um, absolutely. 15 out of 10 rating. There yeah, was hair's not. A little messy right now. Well, <laughs> oh, why don't you take a look at the tuna that I caught and you'd know why my hair is so messy. Ooh, hey, look at that big tuna! Come on! Shots fired. Oh, yeah. Going to town. So, what I like to do here is I like to outline it first. So, I take it right down the backbone. And then they, they, they have a bloodline that runs right down there. You can almost see it on his skin. I just take this Danco knife and I rip it right down either side of it. Just like that. That takes out that center part. Then I come on this side. Then I come on the belly side. I cut around his ribs a little bit and his stomach. Come right down his pectoral or his uh, sickle fins there. You get a lot of uh, sinew and cartilage right down in here. So we usually kind of chop the tail right in there. But did y'all know if you go to dankopliers.com, anything they offer, they have bait nets, everything, gaffs, knives, pliers, anything you can name up. Use promo code BLUEGABE and you'll save 10%. That is a huge chunk of meat. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Beautiful. What's your favorite way to eat tuna? I cook my tuna as little as possible. That's what I'm saying. So check out the inside of this lodge right here. This is a floating houseboat. Look. The boat's right there. The boat's right there. The couch is right there. The beds are right up there. Refrigerator, kitchen, ice machine. I'm telling you guys, this is legit. But right now, I'm ending this video and I'll see y'all back at my house in Stewart, Florida. Don't go anywhere though, because we're going to do some awesome stuff with these heads and the ribs and all kinds of stuff. But you guys, big head shake. Got a little bit of weight to them. There's that drag goes. Need a belt? Feeling kind of sharky, but never know until we see him. I've been wrong before.
<laughs> the big Jack or Val or something? AJ. Amber Jack. Good gosh, what a big one too, boy. Amber Jack. Wow. Oh. Big giant Amber Jack. That thing is huge. We need to get a picture of him. All right, folks. This is our bycatch down here. Oh. We throw these back. You're breathing awful heavy, though. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'd be lying if I said I got to back gonna up to get out. the whole thing in the He's frame. Huge. Why didn't you fight him? Because I thought he was a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fish. Let him go. <laughs> See you, buddy. Good job. Woo! The fish ain't even cold yet, and you got chopsticks? <laughs> hungry, hungry, lunchtime. You guys, these boys don't mess around. Y'all take your face mask off and say hi to everybody. <laughs> Give Deer Meat a shout out. What up, Deer Meat? What's up, Deer Meat? Deer, Deer Meat? I got the Everglade ready. I got the Everglade. The Everglade. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Y'all bring hot dogs? Yes. What the heck? You can't eat hot dogs with chopsticks? Yeah. Oh, hey. I'll learn something new. You guys, I expected to see a chunk of that black fin we caught on there earlier, or maybe some stir fried chicken or something. <laughs> no, hot dogs. And burgers coming up after. And burgers. It doesn't have that shark head shake. Wow. Tight, boys! Tight. I got Blue Dave over here grunting, breathing heavy. When you pull down There's it no crappie, y'all. Wore out, back. boy. You wore out. I'm wore you out. Gotta get to it now. I've only got any real, down. real, <laughs> boy, real. We got fish to catch, Dick. Oh. Hold on a sec. Then get you some of that Mountain Dew. We're gonna need a bigger boat. I need to stand up fighting. Come on, we're gonna get like this. Or uh, the harness off for shark. I can't gain nothing. Nada. They're getting real close and personal, folks. <laughs> hey. Louisiana Blue Water Charters, you get, you, he'll hook you up. Not yet, not pick up the rod yet. It actually feels pretty tight, it's like gripping everything. Alright, we're good. You got the rod? Yep. You got it? Who's half eaten hamburger? Uh-huh. Is that Gabe, is that your half eaten hamburger? Yep. Yeah. I'm eating it. I'm back here fishing. Oh yeah, I think. Hey, you've already ate. Yeah. How does that feel, Gabe? Good friend. Oh, he's trying to call me fat. You called me fat this morning when I sat on you in the beanbag. This ain't no twin B man, it's a free man! Let's go to the back Oh, I take everything back, I said to Bailey. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Say, say that again for the folks back home. Say that again. You said what now? I take everything back, I said to Bailey. <laughs> Exactly, y'all. Y'all heard it here. Have you ever caught a fish this hard before? Never in my life. Does a speckled trout fight like this? <laughs> Don't pick on me for the dang speckled <laughs> trout. Dude, that's just... He's right here on the surface. Yeah, I think that's the leader right there. It's only 80 pound now. Big friggin' shark. What is that? Is it? Might be a, bacon, be a monster. Man. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Hey, battling big game out here. <laughs> in case y'all are wondering. 
<laughs> Big hammerhead. Huge hammerhead. Woohoo! Go overboard now. I just went full drag on 80 pound fluoro. <sighs> So I'm using 80 pound fluoro sea works and I just went to full drag and still about can't a, break it. About a three, four hundred pound hammerhead on there. The real deal right here. Y'all think I'm kidding, that's a full drag. Yeah, I'm done. Thank God, because my hamburger was getting cold. <laughs> you guys look at him right there. Bye, buddy.